Oh, hello world. I didn't see you there. Today, I'm going to tell you the story of the first leg of the famous Lewis and Clark expedition. A story of the past told in the words of the present, if you will. Everything in this movie is true, or at least as true as I think it needs to be. <laughs> we can just edit that in somewhere if you want to take a photo. William Clark was 32 years old when he took on the expedition. He was an expert woodsman, which meant he was a great hunter and he was excellent at crafting tools and supplies needed for the expedition. He had no wife and kids until later in his life when he adopted Sacagawea's kids. Uh, still no wife though. And he did have military experience. Meriwether Lewis was 28 years old when he took on the expedition. He also had military experience he was a, an excellent map maker and also had no wife and kids. So on the expedition, they traveled in a canoe most of the way and they traveled up the Missouri River. So the water was flowing this way, but they were going this way. And here we have Clark and Lewis and some other dude. And then there's the dog that they affectionately called a sea man. Along the expedition, Lewis brought with him a large black Newfoundland dog named Sea Man. So the expedition started in Camp Wood, where Lewis and Clark began packing and preparing for the trip. And here we have Lewis. Here we have Clark. Camp Wood was located just outside St. Louis, and they began in the summer of 1804. They decided that they would only pack things that were absolutely needed to keep them in happy. Some of those things including whiskey highly toxic treatment for STDs that they didn't know was toxic at the time that included mercury pills and crayons. Oh. Hey, just popping in here with a little fun factoid for ya. Meriwether Lewis uh, is speculated by most historians to have been gay. Very little of Lewis's personal correspondence has come to light, so the case for Lewis being gay is based largely on conjecture and circumstantial evidence. This being that he was pretty stereotypically gay, uh, meaning that he kept up with all the latest fashion trends and carried himself in a more feminine fashion. He never married, and his journals during the expedition reveal that he was disgusted by the native women's nude bodies. So believe it or don't believe it, but I would like to think that he was, in fact, a homosexual. You, you want to fight me? No. <laughs> just, just stop. I don't want to fight. We don't want to fight. Just go check the women out. And let them check you out. That, that's all. That's all. Great. So the whole crew got crazy STDs, which they used mercury pills to cure. Except for Lewis and I. We coincidentally didn't get any STDs. Oh boy, what a beautiful terrain. I can't wait to ruin it. Neither can I. God, I'm so happy we made it to Fort Mandan. Oh yes. Oh man, Dan. Oh. Oh man. <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't okay. Hey. Hey, can we go on the expedition with you? Uh, sure, man. I don't really wanna. It's okay, she's good. We're going. That Ooh. was good, man. Fair enough. Let's go. So, we've... I mean, I feel like it would be going better if we had a guide or something. Do you yeah, know the land? I know the land. But like, aren't you pregnant? Yeah. Oh, that's chill. Fair enough. Alright, so, um, should we get going then? Yeah. Yeah, cool. yeah, yeah. Okay. And another small intermission from editing Taylor. There was only one death during the entire trip, which was Sergeant Floyd. He died during the first leg of the trip. 
There were few major injuries during the trip, all of which were Lewis's, um, including walking off a cliff and getting shot in the buttock during a hunting trip by a crewmate who had terrible vision and aim. Luckily for him, it was in the buttock, so it healed pretty quickly and wasn't that major. Oh joy, the Pacific Ocean. Looks like we made it. Congrats, man. We did it. To you as well. All that's left is the journey home. Do you have anything you want to say? I really hate the misconception that I wanted to go on this expedition. Yeah, yeah. fair enough. Only one guy died too. I would say that this is a success. As would I. I, I would just hope that nobody comes along to ruin all this too soon. Yeah, I really like having non-polluted air, water, and bees present in the world. I think people move to start a new life because in the States, there's not much people can do to make any more money than they already do. Moving west meant to move land and, in turn, more money who would turn down a way to get more money. <laughs> also, there's the whole manifest destiny bit, which was the belief that we had the right and responsibility to expand our nation. Lewis and Clark were told by Jefferson to treat the natives as equals and friends, and while they did rape many natives along the way, they mostly stuck to his word. While Lewis and Clark didn't have a very heavy impact on the natives, the westward expansion they brought with them did, which ended up pushing them um, out of their land and killing many of them in the process. They also killed a bunch of animals and cleared many trees later on. Or towns. Without the core of discovery, the Louisiana Territory wouldn't have been explored as efficiently and early as it was, leading the rest of the Americans west. The Corps of Discovery, Discovery's mission to move America west also had a huge negative impact on the natives, pushing them out of their land and into reservations and killing many of them. Manifest Destiny applied to Lewis and Clark because they were the first ones to push westward, setting the path for the rest of the nation. They were fulfilling the obligation to expand America by mapping out the land for future pioneers. For the economic impact, they had to pay for supplies and such for the trip. But other than that, there wasn't really much economic impact. Along the way, they made friends with many Native American tribes, and both sides benefited from that. But they also didn't get along with a lot of tribes, and that led to some conflict later on. Politically speaking, they were claiming the Louisiana Territory for America so the other countries wouldn't claim it. Spain sent a team to stop the Corps of Discovery because Spain was afraid that they, that they would find the gold in Spain's land, but, you know, really, when you have some people from somewhere in here looking for one specific group of people in all of this, it's going to be difficult so they never actually found the Corps of Discovery. Oh, no profanity on the expedition! <laughs> Sean! The shot. My backpack is still back there. <laughs> Run! Taylor! Naruto this. Go! That's not Naruto! I'm disappointed. Very. When the guy that you knew doesn't actually care about you doesn't pretend like he cares about you. Well, I mean. Only matter. you. Get your ass over here! Oh, no, 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 no. 